So I'm pleased to be joined by Ruslan Pormario from uh, Ukraine, although living for many years in, in Spain. He has just uh, qualified for the, for the fourth round, uh, but he had to go to the tiebreak. Ruslan, a tough match. You were playing with uh, Le Huang Liem, a very good uh, blitz and rapid player, but you prevailed. Tell us a bit about the match and the tiebreak today. <laughs> well, every match is tough here. <laughs> I was really, really lucky that I was uh, top 50 seeded, so I was I don't need to play first round, just exactly. Otherwise, maybe first round would be tough. So uh, I, I didn't expect anything like uh, today tough match. Next match tough. Here, is, here are like the best chess players mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. Everyone is of course preparing, doing the their best. I, I I don't know. I just was happy already that I passed uh, previous round because you know it's kind of set to come. And it's, okay, I didn't play first round. I passed the second, but I wanted at least to be someone. <laughs> this was my eliminated in the second round. I mean, it's possible, but just kind of feel like psychologically. Okay, at least I'm not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you're a very good player, and Col but Colas was a really tough uh, opponent in the second oh, round. You played he's, to uh, he's tough. And okay, this match against Lequanio, I mean, we played already before, maybe first time in Dortmund in 2010. I, and I re always remember that Lequanio, he's uh, very tough uh, opponent. I mean, very good player just recently won Bill Chess uh, Festival second time in a row. I know, I, I checked his uh, life rating. He was like number 15 in the world. I mean, I, it's not still I'm happy not playing Carlson again. <laughs> no but I don't know, I guess maybe I was not so like stressed, like somehow like I thought, okay, let's mm -hmm. flow uh, to see how it's happened. Just you know, uh, I'm not like going, I don't need to prove anyone uh, here. I already proved myself yeah. many, many years ago. I said, okay, I don't know when next time we're going to be World Cup. I will try to enjoy as much as possible moment, especially my like goal was to at least to beat someone. I don't even know, he didn't really play it. Uh, well, let's say in each game I had uh, uh, chances, but he's defended uh, very, very well. I, 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 saw, I saw the second game in our like uh, classical, uh, in the classical, I was much better, but he's like, I don't know, just keeping tension and it's uh, in some moment I was not precise and position was already nothing special. Then the rapid started. Again, of course, uh, he knows very well preparation. I try a little bit to trick him. I thought I trick him. I had advantage, but again, he's different. The first game, the same, but like finally, like fifth game. I mean, he also needed, I guess, to put some pressure on me because this match not about just not not to lose uh, any game because in some of you need to be, there is no like Arvaida, you need to put some problems. And okay, he, he always gave me some chances when he played with White, I was kind of happy. But then like already I was so close like to me. And uh, last game I'm playing with White, but you know, it's 10 plus 10 still. Of course, with White it's more pleasant, but still like he has nothing to lose. And I, I started to feel like he's like started to a little bit like to flow, to enjoy uh, the game. And somehow, I don't know, I didn't like my position. I said, I need to do something. I can't play passively stupid. At least if I lose, I will lose. The second game after winning the first yeah, game. 10, 10 plus 10. 10, plus 10. I, I mean, and okay, in some moments, I just had some kind of memories. I remember I had tie break against Evgeny Bareev. In 2001, mm -hmm. I won first game with uh, Black, and then I need to make a draw. And he played some pits, and somehow my position become worse, worse. And I sacrificed the you queen. sacrificed the queen yeah, against yeah, Bariev yeah, in 2001. Yeah. Of course, it's it's Same different. Idea. But I thought, 
okay, I need, I need to do something like this, you know, especially it's not three plus two, it's not five plus three, 10 plus 10, but okay, it's like my knight champion, maybe he will blunder mm -hmm. something, I have some chances, yeah, and he started like to, to think and okay, I, I, I thought in some moment I took more or less under control, found some kind of uh, defensive idea because <laughs> It worked out for you, so that's good. Now you're going to the fourth round, and your opponent is a Hungarian player, Grandmaster Ferenc Berks. So I expect you've played with him before. Um, how does this How does this actually, face up? Actually, I don't think. Oh, so it'll be a new opponent for you then. I mean, of course, I I know him. He like very good chess player, but no past history. history. Like face to face, somehow mm -hmm. we didn't. Um, meet yet i don't know tomorrow is a free day i should maybe make some long some preparations as well no i mean because you know i i don't know how long i will say i just bought ticket one way and it, i thought it's stupid like to take huge luggage mm -hmm. and i i like to travel like to see places I, I, for each day I'm not superstitious person like who's ah if I'm winning in this like t-shirt and if it smells badly <laughs> I will put it no no each day I put like a new shirt new like t-shirt but uh, probably I need like to do still some uh, laundry to do some preparation and also maybe to s try to sleep try to I don't know maybe to do some yoga mm -hmm. or, or something and I will think about. What what to play? I think I play next game with uh, black. I don't know. I, I right now my thoughts like to go to have some, uh, some dinner. And dinner, relax. yeah, some uh, rest just to keep my routine, not to like celebrate too much, <laughs> but also like try to release this kind of stress. Mm -hmm. So Ruslan will be releasing a bit of stress and relaxing. But before we, we go, Ruslan uh, Ponomariov lives in Spain for many years. And before the interview, he wanted to say something in Spanish to your many followers. Para todos tus seguidores de España, puedes decirles eh, al, lo que tú quieras decirles a tus seguidores desde España, que son muchos. Bueno, no solo a seguidores en España. Bueno, primero vivo en País Vasco. Y en País Vasco hablan también euskera, pero yo de euskera hablo muy, muy poquito. Mi hijo sí va a Castela y aprende ahí. Y sí, quería, no solo a mis seguidores en España, también hay muchos seguidores en América Latina, que durante el torneo también he recibido varios mensajes por WhatsApp. Gracias, los chicos, para ayuda y... Vamos. <laughs> so Ruslan clearly is on, a, is on a roll, on a streak, and we'll see him in the fourth round against Fedding Berkers. Ruslan, thank you very much.